Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications. As per reports, since 5th May 2020, Chinese and Indian troops have been engaged in aggressive actions, face-offs and scuffles at locations along the India-China border. Hand-to-hand -hand combat on 16th June 2020 resulted in the death of 20 Indian soldiers, including an officer and casualties of at least 43 Chinese soldiers, including dead and injured, including, of course, death of an officer. China acknowledged casualties on both sides, though it did not release any numbers, and further accused Indian troops of crossing the line of actual control. In the meantime, India strengthened the region with 12,000 additional workers who would help with completing the development of uh, Indian infrastructure along the India-China border. Numerous reasons have been cited as the cause of these border conflicts between India and China. MIT professor Taylor Frevel said that this was a response from China to the development of Indian infrastructure in Ladakh, particularly the Darbuk Shayok DBO road. He added that it was a show of strength for China amidst the COVID-19 pandemic which had damaged the Chinese economy and international reputation as well. Whereas Wang Shida of China Institute of Contemporary International Relations connected the current border tensions to India's decision to abrogate Article 370 and change the status of Jammu and Kashmir. Some experts also state the political statement made declaring the Aksai Chin being part of uh, Ladakh Union territory was considered as a threat by China. India diplomat Gautam Bambavale opines that New Delhi's moves in 2019 related to Jammu and Kashmir rankled Beijing. India's former ambassador to China Ashok Kantha said that, that these tussles were part of a growing Chinese assertiveness in both the Indochina border and South China Sea. Indian diplomat Fonchuk Stobdan pointed to the occurrence of a larger strategic shift and that India should be alert.